morning we are going up to Palmetto, which is about 45 minutes north from where we're at. Um, I pressure washed this pool deck. We we're gonna seal it. There's also a couple repairs that need to be made. I already did the repair, but the customer is thinking that I flipped the pavers upside down. That's why they're a different color. And I was trying to explain to them that the pavers have just never been in the sunlight before and the pavers that are down are faded to a different color. So he went ahead and bought new pavers for me to put in. So we'll see how that's gonna work. I still think it's gonna be the same scenario. I'm gonna flip them around for him so he can see that both sides are the same color. Um, and then we're gonna seal the pool deck. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're taking the uh, 7.3 in the enclosed trailer and I just need to grab a couple bags of sand and some of the hand tools that I put in my truck for that uh, excavation job that we did yesterday. And then we will be on our way. It's supposed to be a hot one today, 96 degrees. Not looking forward to that, but kind of something we're just getting used to having a pound of waters down so i will see you guys when we get to palmetto all right so i forgot to start recording and we started working this is what we're dealing with i pressure cleaned this uh patio last week and we were going to seal it but there were some areas that had some gnarly stains still like this area that you can tell we repaired and the pavers are the exact same. <clears throat> They're these marble pavers. They uh, they just need time in the sunlight to darken up. So they look real white right now. So we just, the customer got a bunch more pieces. So we've been taking them out of this area and we're gonna replace them. These are the bad ones. You can see the orange stains in there and they're from this mango tree. These leaves that turn yellow and fall on it start to stain up the pavers a little bit so I'm gonna throw some of this sweep sand in here and level it back out and we can start oh uh, yeah stack them up like that though so it's easy to just set them down So that one, the one battery that I have is acting up, but this, the one that's in the GoPro right now went through the wash as well and it hasn't been acting up. Okay, at least not out too. Right? I don't know if you could just buy one battery though, so I'm still gonna buy two more. Cause it comes in a pack with a charger, a dual oh, yeah. charger. Well. Yeah. Plus, I need more batteries anyway. Having three ain't the best. Yeah, exactly. Where? Right on the edge of that, like, what do you call that? It's like where you put a chair in the water. Right on the pond. What is it, paver gap? Yeah, like it's not squared up right. It's like 
Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Right here. Yep. Pool company. They didn't do a bad job though on it everywhere. Yeah. So with these marble pavers, they're just like travertine pavers where you have to get your sub base very level and good for them to go together and look right. So you gotta take your time on this part. You always want your sub base to be level, but it's extremely important with this stuff. What song is that? Oh, whiskey, it's Tennessee whiskey. Yes. Sweet, a strawberry wine. <laughs> so another reason that these marble pavers could have stains on them is due to the sub base. Um, the sub base is not the best on these pavers and i've seen it before where the sub base can change travertine pavers orangish yellow so that could be the other issue um, but the only fix for that is taking all of the pavers up and changing out the entire sub base and then relaying the entire pool deck so the customer did not want to go that route all right Pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop the first one in there. Ooh. Beautiful. These things are heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And as you can see, these brand new pavers that the customer bought are not the same color. They are the exact same paver from the same manufacturer and everything like that. But these older pavers, normally a paver will fade from the sun, but it will fade into a lighter color. These marble pavers are totally different than your concrete pavers. These pavers darken up over time of weathering. So the customer, when I first did a couple repairs here, he thought that I accidentally put in these marble pavers upside down. As if the bottom side was lighter than the top side, which it's not. So like as that area up in the front that you can see there, I've already, d I did those repairs last week and the customer was thinking that I just did them wrong, that I put the pavers wrong. And I tried telling them, just go ahead and take one of those new marble pavers over there and set it down on the patio and you will see, you can flip it either side, you will see that they are two totally different colors. And the only thing that you can do is wait it out and let that sun fade them into these pavers because these pavers aren't old. These, I mean, this pool deck was done about four months ago. So there was that much color change in four months. So these pavers will eventually fade into the rest of the pool deck. 
Um, I don't know how long, but it shouldn't be too long. Um, and it should look pretty decent at the end when they finally fade. Oh, well, I'd rather not use... No, that one's from the back. I think it moved all the extra ones up here. After these three, there's four left. Uh, well, then I can't pull up anymore. Because... Unless you want to use that one. I need... I need one for here. And then I need one for over here. And a half. Stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull up anymore. We'll just figure it out. Let me get there. What's that mallet? Snug she is, my friend. I was thinking for sure it was about to chip it. Oh, it did a little Jinxed bit. It. That's very minuscule, though. That was crazy. We don't want those problems. That was the one that we had to bust out. Or no, that was over here. I think just one. Yeah, because that was the only bad one here. You didn't pick that one. Here. Go ahead and hold this real quick. And I'm gonna have to cut one for that edge.
feel like if we were to do a whole deck like this and they're all the same size, would it be worth to make like a custom screen that's like the width of that paper? Huh? Like what if you would you make a custom screen that's like this paper that way you can No, I mean if we're doing the whole pool deck, why would you want it the size of the paper? You just retreat the whole thing. Bigger, better than smaller. The wider our screed reels and the wider our screed, the more area is going to be the same level. So you want it to, I would want one in the whole thing. Boom, and it's all flat. Or it's sloped however much you want it. Yeah, this one's so good. Uh, no, I'm gonna measure it. Do you want a straight edge in the marker though? Yeah, that two foot level. Yeah. Thank you. So my GoPro shut off because it's too hot. Man, tell me about it. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to record this summer with my GoPro having heat strokes, but I'm gonna do my best. If anybody knows about um, some GoPro batteries that don't get too hot or how to work around that, let me know. Cause that might be an issue here in Florida. Um, so we got all of our pavers cut and uh, put on the side here. We're about to thin set them down. I was letting my GoPro sit in the shade so it could cool down a little bit. So we got a piece right there. We have to thin set a piece right there. One, two, and then another one down here. And then once we get these all down, we'll put down some silica sand in all the areas that we repaired and uh, blow it all off and then we got to run to ace hardware and get a roller and a nap because we don't have any on deck so that we can back roll whenever we seal it all right i got my thin set mixed up hopefully the gopro stays on all we can do is hope We're gonna start then setting these edges. Nice. Well, 
We're gonna have to redo that PC. We're gonna have to redo this piece. It just broke. Now it's a square. Oh, and it broke this one too. Maybe when you hit the cut this one, just shave it a little bit shorter. Yep. Was it a pinch here or was it right there? It was a pinch on both sides. It wasn't good. It was not happy. Oh? I said it was not happy. nice house here I like that what oh no I turned it off or turned it on you see how the garage has a loft that stairwell I don't know if I was a kid I'd be living in that thing get me out of the parents house put me in the loft All right, all right, we're about to start sealing this up. Just bought a new sprayer. Yeah, we'll start on that corner over there. It's already looking right. Spray is so nice. Yeah. What? You can go around that way if you got to get these roots. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my wheelbarrow real quick. Yeah. If that works. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you're not tracking. No, we're just spraying water.
Oh, uh, just a day. Yeah. You uh, just, just tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow you can go on it. But it's like just all tonight. Just oh, stay right. off of it. And then, yeah, tomorrow you'll be good to go on it. So this pool deck went well, we got it all sealed up, all the repairs are done, and the customer's pretty happy. They're, they were hoping that the new pavers would match the old pavers, but like I told them in the beginning, that they will fade into that. Um, so the next video, we are going to be stripping sealer. So that'll be a completely different process than putting the sealer on, so that'll be a fun one. You guys will see the struggles of that. But that'll be all for this video. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.